This is part two of the video that I accidentally cut short on water kept here and my living kitchen. So here we have the grains. Can you see them? What we're going to do is put those into the container, a slice of fresh lemon, a tablespoon ish of sugar, stir it in, put the lid back on. Now I could have put a, sp a pinch of um, bicarb in but I didn't today. That's just a little bit of food for them. That is that. That's the kefir done. So Lily can you get rid of that? Give that to the garden please. Now this tea towel is clean, it's just been used for everything and it looks manky. Here we have, uh, what's this one? Ah, this is lilac blossom. Here's the dried lilac blossoms that I um, dehydrated. And this is lilac blossom wine. As you can see, it's fermenting away and it's now ready to put into the um, demijohns. This is the type of thing it will go into. Um, it'll be sterilized and cleaned and we have a second one here this one's Hungarian this one's British we'll have a cork to go in the top we need to drill a hole through that fit an airlock that will be fitted on the top there and that will have water and it will bubble away and let out the um, gases and not let any naughty things in like the bacteria or flies vinegar things that create bad wine turning it into um vinegar so that's that one now this is a fermenting vessel that one of our members donated to us thank you very much rachel and it has a fermentation lock airlock on the top as you can see with the water in and this one is dandelion and it ha the recipe called for sultanas to be added so today is the day those sultanas need to be taken out and um, possibly a little more sugar added. This brown stuff's tape, by the way. So I will follow the recipe and that will keep going. You may have wondered what the roaring is in my kitchen. Yeah, well, it's my incubator. And in the bottom of the incubator, We have some seeds, hopefully. These are pineapple seeds that hopefully may sprout. And then we have some goose eggs and some duck eggs donated by another member, which was um, Andrea. So thank you very much, Andrea. Put the incubator back on. It's running a bit cool now. It should be at 37.5 and about 40% humidity, I believe. It's got an automatic turning system. Every kitchen should have one, obviously. There's the um, chicken eggs I ground up earlier on. I just thought I'd show you. And lastly, we have some orange peel that I've been dehydrating to use in various recipes. There it is in a bag. I should have it in a jar. And here we have some dandelions that I dried. They go to seed in the dehydrator. It's really, really weird. So I have to find out what I'll do with those. Probably, um, probably something cosmetic. So that's it, really. That's the life in my kitchen. Not the poshest kitchen in the world. It's very, very small, but I managed to do quite a bit in it. So we'll end part two of this here. Bye all. Thanks for watching. And go check out my Facebook page, which is Sharing Off-Grid Lifestyle and Chat. Go and find it.